Hello. My name is Kipros and I am a student at Regional Gymnasium of Livadia. Hello. My name is Kai Poroela and I am also a student at Regional Gymnasium of Livadia. We both work in the Erasmus Project Pantons Porel Inclusion and in this video presentation we will present to you the work students did for Erasmus Projects at Regional Gymnasium of Livadia. At Regional Gymnasium of Livadia we have three Erasmus K2 projects. The project in Aquaculture, the project Let's Be Eco Sustainable and the project Pantons Porel Inclusion. The Erasmus students at Regional Gymnasium of Livadia present the impact of climate change in winemaking in Cyprus. They propose the idea of living sustainably in a smart and eco-sustainable city to reduce the effects of climate change. The Cypriot wine industry ranks 50th in the world in terms of total production quantity, 10,302 tons, and much higher on a per capita basis. The wine industry is a significant contributor to the Cypriot economy through cultivation, production, employment, export, and tourism. Cyprus has been a vine-growing and wine-producing country for millennia and wine used to be a major factor of the Cypriot diet. There is archaeological evidence that winemaking on the Mediterranean island may have existed as many as 6,000 years ago. Internationally, it is best known for the Commandaria wine. Most wine production remains based on a few varieties of local grapes such as Mavro and Zynasteri although international varieties are also cultivated. The impacts of climate change have been felt by farmers in Cyprus. Cyprus is experiencing faster than average rises in temperature, and it has already suffered major losses of rainfall. Winemakers are among those already feeling the effects. Climate change is not only a thing of the future, but also happening now. We see an increase of mean temperatures, and this already has an impact on grape growing said Mr. Iannis Christodias, winemaker in Cato Trees. One impact is that higher temperatures make grapes ripen too early, before their aromas have had a chance to fully develop. That is something the wineries are very worried about. Winemakers in Cyprus are testing more resilient grape varieties that are adapted to droughts and hot weather. They also apply techniques like crop forcing, which involves pruning vines, so the grapes mature later in the growing season once temperatures have dropped. But deciding when to prune is difficult, too early or too late in the growing season would impact the harvest. Seasonal forecasts need to be developed to help winemakers assess the best times to apply these crop forcing techniques. Detailed data about the vineyard can be used, including location, soil type, and grape variety to estimate when vines will produce buds or grapes will ripen, as well as predicting temperatures and rainfall. EU policy needs to change to support producers adapting to climate change. Rules that regulate the composition of wines, for example, could be changed to allow producers to use different varieties of grape even grapes from different regions without changing the name of the wine. This could be very important for consumers because they want to go to the supermarket and find Maroth Eftico, and the name of this wine is clearly defined in some EU rules. To eliminate the effects of climate change, Students working for the Erasmus project Let's Be Eco-Sustainable proposed the idea of living sustainably and they designed and built a 3D graphics model of the smart and eco-sustainable city of Larnaca. A great effort has been made to design the city based on the United Nations Agenda 2030 to meet the requirements of the Goal 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities. A smog-free city, full of thriving green ecosystems, 
with more cyclists and pedestrians than cars. The aim was to address social, environmental, and economic impact through urban planning and city management. Many sustainable initiatives have been achieved by building eco-friendly alternatives into city infrastructure, such as adopting walk and bike lanes. The 3D graphics model of the smart eco-city of Larnaca has been built using Minecraft to meet the requirements of the Erasmus Plus project, Let's Be Eco-Sustainable, towards 2030. While finding ways to help the planet is essential to sustainability, reducing costs and creating a vibrant culture for citizens are equally important. Through planned infrastructure, public green spaces, smart waste removal and more, the eco-smart city of Larnaca can leave behind a net zero footprint for a more sustainable world. Cost-efficient and accessible public transportation takes cars off the road, reducing harmful emissions generated by daily driving commutes and errands. A great way to improve public transportation and encourage greener practices is to incentivize alternative travel by reserving certain lanes for buses, electric cars, and carpooling. Greener public transit with new technology such as Hyperloop and smart roads. Walkable and bikeable neighborhoods can provide residents with significant health and safety benefits. To reduce carbon emissions throughout the city of Larnaca, citizens can ditch transit altogether. Walking and biking are great alternatives to encourage, and city leaders can do so by approving infrastructure changes, passing laws to protect cyclists and making smart urban planning decisions. Cycling superhighways have been created across the city by a series of paths and bridges designed specifically for bikers. Vehicle charging stations for electric or other alternatives are available in different locations that suit both drivers and local homeowners. Solar energy is used to produce electricity using photovoltaic panels. The switch to clean energy is essential for Larnaca to become sustainable. Solar energy used to generate electricity can help to improve air quality of the city while also providing renewable energy to citizens and municipal facilities. Solar energy creates well-paying jobs and stimulates economic growth in Cyprus. City-funded solar farms built in the outskirts of the city allows residents who can't harness solar energy on their own property to gain access to solar power. It allows municipal buildings to transition to renewable energy. Buildings have been designed and built using Minecraft to meet the requirements of the future smart eco-city of Larnaca. 30% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions come from buildings. One solution is green buildings, which reduce CO2 emissions by 32%. They also require less maintenance and have cheaper water and electricity bills. These cost benefits, along with additional tax incentives, have allowed green building construction to become widespread without the use of government mandates. Smart heating and cooling systems are used in all building. Natural building materials are used in construction of new buildings. Enhanced ventilation and insulation are used in all buildings in the city. Accessible public resources for all citizens are a priority. Sustainable cities also help residents achieve sustainability in their own lives by providing opportunity and access to resources. Public health buildings, economic development centers, technology hubs, and more are all examples of resource centers that can stimulate public health and the economy. Photovoltaic panels are used on top of the buildings to generate electricity. Green roofs provide a rainwater buffer, purify the air, reduce the ambient temperature, regulate the indoor temperature, save energy, and encourage biodiversity in the city. These resources also include recreational facilities and programs in which community members can take part. Some of these facilities, such as museums and 
agricultural centers can rehumanize urban centers and help the city define its identity. Allocating public funds towards cultural amenities and events is a great way to promote diversity and inclusion at the city level and help build bonds within a community. Water conservation is essential for the city of Larnaca. Resourceful urban water management is a priority for the future smart eco-city, sustainable city of Larnaca. Over 90% of the world's urban centers are near coastal areas. While this puts these cities at greater risk of natural disasters and climate change threats, it also opens the door for better use of these nearby water sources. Water conservation practices Larnaca can adopt. Rainwater harvesting. Green infrastructure. Waterless hardware. Green infrastructure uses the natural water cycle to create clean water sources in place of a water treatment plant. For example, restoring wetlands and planting trees can reduce the need for man-made flood infrastructure such as levees. Green cities combine greater productivity and innovation capacity with lower costs and reduced environmental impact. Measures to green cities can increase social equity and quality of life protect and safeguard the world's cultural and natural heritage, enhance inclusive and sustainable urbanization and capacity for participatory, integrated, and sustainable city planning and management. Creating more public green spaces is priority for the municipality of Larnaca. Urban green spaces solve a number of challenges at once. The city can achieve pollution control, public health, and thriving biodiversity by adopting green infrastructure, all while increasing property value in the area. Parks, greenways, and trails, street trees and protected conservation areas are all examples of public green spaces. Building community gardens and urban farms can also solve food challenges. In addition to free or affordable gardening spaces for residents, edible landscaping can be incorporated to ensure urban plants serve two purposes, ornamental and functional. Smart street lighting control provides interoperability with different communication technologies and IoT platforms, while ensuring compatibility with different lamp manufacturers and smart city devices. Street lighting operates autonomously, while in-depth grid awareness encourages optimization and real-time malfunction alerts improve maintenance efficiency. The city uses intelligent light software that allows API integrations with most major management platforms that manage specific sensors and IoT devices. Intelligent street lighting operates autonomously, using smart scheduling algorithms based on astronomical calendar, light level sensors or motion detectors, for any lamps with electronic or electromagnetic ballasts and architectural lighting. Intelligent street lighting software offers detailed electrical parameters and advanced analytic report tools to understand the trends, reduce energy loss, help improve lighting policies and increase street lighting overall satisfaction. Malfunctions are reported in real time and automatic processes inform the maintenance teams about the ongoing problems with complete details, including necessary repairs, spare parts management, and GPS coordinates. Waste management. Rather than throwing waste away only to end up in a landfill, disposal processes should be circular. Energy recovery is a great solution for waste that can't be recycled using traditional methods. This process captures fly ash burned at landfill sites and converts it back into energy. Using technology to go paperless is another great way to promote sustainability on a city-wide scale. Many government offices have moved forms and applications online which is both quicker and less wasteful than mailing or dropping papers off. Sustainable cities aren't just a lofty goal for city planners and eco-enthusiasts. They are a necessity in the fight against climate change. Flooding, heat waves, damaged water.
water supplies and more can all be mitigated by sustainable infrastructure. Even disease spread, like we have seen with the coronavirus pandemic, can be limited, or even eradicated, through smart, sustainable urban planning. Cities who reduce their risk of climate effects and other naturally occurring disasters will see less property damage, insurance losses, and even casualties, making sustainable city practices a necessity for long-term success. In a smart city, innovative solutions are guaranteed in different areas like mobility, urban planning, energy, ICTS, society, government, and environment, thus contributing to sustainability which is the main goal. A smart city means having a smart economy, a smart mobility, a smart citizenship, and a smart government. When those factors are well implemented using theories of urban planning and development, they can improve citizens' quality of life thanks to the good responsible use of natural resources in a correct participatory government as well. When the process of transformation towards a smart city begins, a series of innovative solutions is applied, either by making use of new technologies or other tools with an efficient approach. Some examples related to the environment are the development of electric mobility, implementation of renewable energies and smart meters, while in the government-related sphere, transparency and citizen participation are promoted to build an e-government. Erasmus students working together during break time at school managed to design and build the smart eco-sustainable city of Larnaca and they had the opportunity to develop their skills such as leadership, communication, social skills, initiative, critical thinking, creativity, flexibility, collaboration, information literacy, media literacy, technology literacy, productivity, The smart and eco-sustainable city of Larnaca project will be completed and presented to all the stakeholders in June 2022. Thank you for watching.